<laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm the Man Goose, and welcome to the rant. Today, I'm going to be talking about these motherfuckers that wait till the very last second to lock in their heroes in the draft pick. Jelly? Okay, so I'm going to be talking about the things your jungler doesn't say to you in a game because, oh my god, do people piss me off as, the, as a jungle main. Evan, what about you, man? Hey, I'm Evan or Raven, whichever you prefer. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how it is to play ADC and solo queue at the same time and the struggles that are involved with that. Awesome. Sounds like we got a pretty good lineup here. A lot of relatable shit. I'm going to jump right into it with mine here. It pisses me off so freaking bad when that timer is counting down. They've got like 30 seconds, like a full 30 seconds to lock in their hero, and they don't, especially if it's a dual pick and I'm picking with them. A lot of times I'm gauging what I pick off of what they pick and they wait until the last fucking second to lock in. And it's always some dumb shit like they've already, they've picked jungle, but they have a mage selected like they're hovering a mage. I'm like, are you going to take the mage? <laughs> like the whole team's like, are you, are you going to play that mage in the jungle? Cause we're cool with it. If you want to do some crazy shit, I'm cool with that. I'm down with that. But they never say a fucking word. They never say anything. And then like the whole team's like spazzing out. And I'm like, well, fuck, if he's going to take that mage, then I need to take like a tankier support. Like I wanted to play this support, but I'm going to take like a tankier support because he's playing fucking mage jungle or some shit. And then at the very last second, he switches to like the bruisiest, most frontline jungler there is. And then says to me, why'd you take him? We're not going to have enough damage now it's like, because you didn't fucking lock. And then it's always the same thing. The same thing every time when they come back. Oh, sorry, goes, oh, uh, my dog was scratching at the door. I had to let my dog, dog. Like nine times out of fucking ten. Like, I love dogs. I, if you have a dog, that's great. That's awesome. But take care of the dog before you hit the ready button, ready up button. Like, it says ready. It's in there. It's in the button. It says ready. If you're not ready, don't hit the ready button. And if you're playing a game that has, like, 30 fucking minute queue times, then you're probably playing a shitty game to begin with. So who the fuck cares? Oh, Guys, that what would you got to say? that would oh, get me man. so bad. And when fault came out, and like you said, with thirty minute queue times, you're sitting there waiting for it all to go down. The second you get in the champ select, somebody's like, "I don't know if I'm gonna play Kalari jungle <laughs> or if I'm gonna play Decker jungle because why not? Why? Why? But they're just gonna sit there. They're not gonna say anything. They're not gonna pick one. They're not gonna do anything like that. They and never if, say anything. Oh my god, it drives me insane. And the funny thing is, like, as a, as a jungle main, and I'm sure you can say the same as a support main, Mango, Mangoose, that you're willing to switch to whatever the team needs. You're willing to be the guy that switches to the tank or the damage or the caster or whatever it may be. But you just need to know, and they yeah, won't oh, tell you. You gotta let me know what I'm filling in for, man. <laughs> oh, my I get God. the same shit in Valorant. It's the same thing, whether it be a MOBA or just a hero shooter, right? You, I, I sit there, so I only play Viper, so it's like one character, whatever. It, it's still, but it's smokes, right? It's, it's a smoke controller character. There's two other characters that can drop smokes, but more like point and click and it goes down. Well, I lock in Viper, and then all of a sudden some guy's like, all right, do we need smokes? Does anyone, do we need more smokes? And I say, no, like, we're good. Like, I, I got it. And then there's, yo, guys, do we need smokes? They're, they're still talking. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're like, I don't know what to do. Should we get? I, I, and that throws them off. Right now, they're like, Oh wait, do we need? Do we need a killjoy? Do we need a sage? What's the sentinel? Can, hey, can someone go duel us? I, I can't do it. You know, I, I I can't play Omen. I can't smoke. It's just as bad. Yeah, it's the same thing. I just go to the last second. Then we're like, Okay, we have like ninety seconds to pick. What's the problem? <laughs> I don't get it. And yeah, any game where this requires team coordination and there's different heroes to select with different roles, you're <laughs> going to get this shit happening. And you know full well that these people know who they want to play going in. They're yes. not sitting oh, yeah, there ninety-eight yeah. percent of the time going like, "Hmm, well, who should I play this game with two seconds left?" They're sitting there going like, "I'm gonna pick this person, but I'm just gonna wait." Just I don't know for or what, but I'm just gonna the wait. And they're like, "You know what? I'm gonna go with that pick anyway." Yeah. What? Let's and, fuck uh, the team. I'm picking this guy. They're not taking care of their dog. These fucking sociopaths are going to go torture their kidnap victim or something. Like some kind of multitasking sadist trying to be super efficient. I'm going to fuck with these gamers while I take out my repressed childhood <laughs> memories on this person. I can, I, like the people that fucking do this, like they're right here and like serial killers are like, yeah, like right here, you know? But just a little bit below them. Like I bet Jeffrey Dahmer That's waited him for high the last the second. Scale. <laughs> to fucking lock in his like Jeffrey Dahmer was sitting on his couch eating a goddamn cock meat sandwich, fucking grinning as the oh timer god. counted down, just so he could fuck with people. Oh god, goddamn sociopaths! He's That's the guy that if you're, you're cool watching somebody play Pong, they don't move their piece until the very last seconds and just time it perfectly <laughs> to block their ball. 
Like it's they just wait till the last moment wow. till your last brain cell is about to just explode trying to figure out what their thought process is. The card games they wait till fucking timers. And oh, oh my god! Goddamn end timer. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I can relate to it again with League because in League, you know, you could swap champs or you could probably do it. I think you can do it Smite too. So like I'll sit there and I'll be like, all right, like they won't want me to pick for you. Like if I'm playing top and you know, it's a tough position to kind of pick into. So, or to pick blind. And like I, some guy will tell me, oh, like, yeah, I could go, you pick me this. I'm like, all right. And then he's like last pick. And then he comes up to him and I tell him, all right, yeah, lock in a uh, York. Let's f say for example. And like, it, it comes down to like 15 seconds. And then it's like 10 seconds. I'm like, are you going to pick York? Like, hello? And then he goes, <laughs> and then like there's seven seconds. He's like, oh shit, dude, I don't even own York. And then locks in a random <laughs> champ. And I'm just supposed to play that champ now. And the guy's like, oh, sorry, dude, I didn't know. <laughs> we did not just, there was like four people who picked in between us. Like, we discussed this. And you just decide seven seconds left that, oh, uh, let me give you a Jax, you know? Hopefully you can play him. Hope that you own him, let alone yeah, play I, I him. I try to help my team out even a little bit. Yeah, exactly. What if I didn't even own him? Then I'd be like, I guess I'm playing Jin top now like for the game. Like, what? I did that. I played with a random that I just added from a game before. And he's like, oh, I'll pick your champion. You trade me this one. So, okay, sure. I, we did that whole thing. Come to, come to the time to trade. And he goes, oh, I actually don't even own that champion. So I played a support in the jungle role because he didn't know how to jungle and didn't actually own the champion he told me to pick. Uh, I lost my mind. Never oh, yeah. played a game with him oh, since. Yeah. If you're out there watching this, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I think that's about... I think I got that, that one. That's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... Jimmy, go ahead, man. Jungle, okay? I, I have been unabashedly a jungle main for a long, long time. But the thing that gets me more than anything is when you go 0-10 in your lane and have the audacity to blame your jungler. <laughs> you have the balls to be like, I dove tower eight times and died for it. My jungler went and got dragon. How dare he? How dare he do th something for the team dude, I while I so just hard. inted my lane? Oh my God, dude. Drives me absolutely nuts. <laughs> and then all, they go into all chat and they're like, ah, oh, better jungle wins. It's like, no, you, you just fed. Please, God, please. There are times where them. I'm Sometimes not doing you know, you're asking for that gig and they just don't come. They Sometimes just sure. Lane. I'll admit that sometimes lanes and just do it doesn't yourself. work out. But it is not my job to fix your problem. <laughs> if you're going to go through and feed your lane, it is not my responsibility to pick up those pieces. <laughs> And I see this as a support a lot too. Like the jungler's coming in, the jungler like signals like, I'm going to attack your lane. And they're like, cool. So I start kind of backing up and trying to bait him forward. My ADC is like, ah, let's go, <laughs> jungler's coming. And yeah. like, forces him all the way under the tower. And he's like, jungler, why the fuck didn't you gag? You said you're going to gag the lane. I'm like, because you pushed him under the tower, asshole. That's why. <laughs> like, oh. It's a team game, team effort. Seriously, 100%. Or you, you ping for the global objectives and you're like, everybody, like now's the time. The lanes are pushed up. Let's go do the thing. You go there. Nobody else shows up. You end up dying because the enemy team shows up on you. I'm like, well, what were you doing? Trying to get the objective. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> the best oh, my uh, my TP there. was down, dude. I pinged it like seven times. <laughs> oh, my God. The best oh. is when you go there and you're like waiting for everybody and nobody shows up so you finally fucking leave and then they go and they're like hey where's our jungler at <laughs> like, i was sitting here for a fucking minute <laughs> you don't understand how much shit i could have done in a full minute instead of a moment <laughs> oh my god <laughs> or yeah sitting in the bush next to a lane you're like okay just let them push you in i'll show up we're good to go and then they push their lane it's like okay so am i do you want me to sit here do you what do you want from me i'm not just here for you <laughs> all the time I get that, but it's the opposite, right? So I'll be set, like, you'll come up to gank, right? And then I'll be set, I'm like, all right, like, but now's the time to go in. Like, he's attacking me. Like, hello? And then they don't come in. And then it's like, well, can where were you? Are you going to come in and gank? Like, I'm setting you up perfectly. I'm, now I'm under tower with no health, and you're trying to gank. And now, now I'm going to get blamed because <laughs> I'm not helping the guy. And I'll, I'll fully admit, when I'm playing in a lane, and I'm, like, fully under tower, and the jungler doesn't show up, but then the second, the second that I'm like, you know what? I need to back. So I push my lane away from me. The jungler's like, I'm coming in. It's like, what do you mean you're coming in now? I, I've been perfectly set up for you. Nothing. The second I decide that I need to do something for me, you're like, oh, okay, we're here. Oh, what, what happened? I tried to gank for you. Oh, dude, it goes both ways. 100% it goes both ways. But 
That grinds my gears as a jungler. Getting it, blamed. It's fine, though, because if you get behind on gold because your jungler isn't ganking, just go into his jungle and take his minions. That's fine. That's perfectly okay to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, man. Let me get this top farm, dude. I'm I'm getting behind here. The guy's pushing me in. I'm not getting ganked. So I, just, I just need the camp, dude. The amount of place. times in solo queue that somebody goes and takes a camp, and I'm like, that's not yours. You have a lane to yourself. Please. <laughs> Oh man. Well, I guess it varies on game, right? Because in Smite, the offlaner, they have like a camp for themselves. Absolutely. But see, mid laners, they're all like blue buff. Uh, blue buff yeah, is mid, the, for mid lane. The jungler only gets it at the beginning of the game, and then every other time it's for mid lane. So mid laners in solo queue were just like, okay, so you're giving me blue buff. No, you're 0 12. I'm not giving you blue buff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I need it. Cooldown. Yeah, cool exactly. Down. I'm out of mana. It's like, I, I, I'm going 5 0 right now. I'll use the blue buff better than you. Sorry, but like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face the facts here. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. And it's always the people that are feeding that want the buffs the most and are the most aggressive about it. Because that's yeah, going to put right. them back in the game. The one go buff that's going to make the whole difference. Dude, I need. I need that red buff. Yep. Clearly. I need that red buff. They want to blame everything else except their performance for how they're performing. Mm -hmm. That's 100%. That's, that's, that's always it. That's the ex yeah. explanation for like probably about 90% of toxicity is just people wanting to blame something other than their own piss poor performance. <laughs> 100%. Oh, it feels so bad. It, oh, it hurts. It, <laughs> that, that somebody, somebody could walk up to me on the street. And be like better jungle wins and i would already be tilted like it wouldn't even be it wouldn't even be a thing i'd just be like who are you what do you know get out of here oh i wonder if i could hire somebody to fucking do that to you walking down the street <laughs> this is the guy you're looking for if you see him on the street you just better jungle wins and i'll i'll lose just my mind for a guaranteed walker and a Pidgeotto haircut to find that guy so just keep walking act like it's nothing just casual, right past you. And then you go, you go, wait, wait, what? <laughs> that thing just happened, right? A hundred percent. I feel shit. it. It's going to happen. <laughs> Is that all you had, Jelly? I think, I think that's all I got for that one. Because, you yeah. feel better Ooh. now after that? All right, Evan, what about you? Mm. So, I'm sure there's many of you like me. You know, you, you like playing ADC. But you don't have any friends, so you like playing solo queue. <laughs> don't even get all right. We're, well, we're, we, this is we're doing this, so let's get started, right? You start in the draft. All right, yeah, I could I could flex around the ADC. Sorry, right, support stalking me. All right, what support do you want? All right, I'll take this. Like it's fine. We could do whatever. All right, you know, most of the time they're pretty cooperative. We get into game. One thing, why don't you start a support item? Doesn't just help me. Doesn't just help you. But if you want to start cloth armor in three pots for some reason, it's okay, <laughs> you're going to miss out on gold and extra item. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. There's no regen happening. That's a thing because people like to do that for whatever reason. I guess some games maybe don't have that yet. Maybe some like the earlier access games, but for the most part, they all got like a support starter item. Right. Well, then that leads directly into, you know, all right, so I'm sitting here and I'm trying to farm and... Uh, you you either get a you get the support that sits back and like just watches you as you try to farm but then you're getting poked so then you can't so now i'm here in front they the support's behind me i'm trying to farm but i'm getting poked and he's doing nothing so now i have to to keep typing on like hey guy can you like help can you play up a little bit i need some help i can't you know i can't hit this oh no you're good dude i got you i'll shield you it, you, you, can you move up a little bit maybe and if you're a person you could sit there you could kind of body block in, in league it's a little harder but i mean you got to work with me here and then like it's the opposite b you have the over aggressive support you got the guy who goes balls deep trying to dude i got the stun i got this where were you where were you i'm 10 feet behind you trying to farm dude it's level two it's not even like it's level three i did i did I, 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 that one gets me. That one gets me real good. <laughs> well, if they worked so hard for the stun raven, then fucking step up and take yes, advantage of it. You're right. They hit the one in a million chance that they're going to hit that ability, and then I got to follow up on it right away. I got to flash to it, mind you, just to get in range, and then we're there. 
<laughs> They're gonna hit that stun 10% of the time throughout the game. You better fucking be able to take advantage. No, because- And you I better know which 10% that one is. <laughs> I have to be 100% ready for that 10% chance to hit. And yeah, then if exactly. I'm not ready, I get the, yeah, like I said, I get the, oh, you're not there. Dude. What do you mean you didn't flash in on the support that's been missing every stun from here on out and happened to land one perfectly? Bro, why didn't you hit your ability? I hit mine. Like, <laughs> I, I just expect you. He's stunned. He can't move. And you're missing? Yeah, he's stunned for 0.5 seconds. And I'm supposed to hit in that window that far away. You're an ADC. Skill you're shot. one click, so what the fuck, man? Why can't oh, you? Oh, Link, it's easy. Yeah, I just walk up and go. <laughs> yep, boop. Okay, I did the boop. thing. Congrats. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'll back up now. And then, like, and then just, like, pathing. In, in, in like the early game, if you're trying to like go into the jungle a little bit, or they come up and ward, and you can help me, you get deward or whatever. Or then like I get the guy who just walks up, he goes, "Yeah, I'm just gonna go walk into like their jungle real quick, all the way over here. I'm gonna leave you in lane. I'm just gonna go in their jungle for some reason." Okay, now I got to back it up. <laughs> now I can't. And then I, I have the 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 roaming, like he's gonna go and roam to mid lane. Oh, don't 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 get me started when the guy goes all the way to top lane for some fucking reason. <laughs> Here I am. We're we we die. Maybe maybe we lost lane two team two fights, right? Two 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 v twos we lost. Okay. Boom. Immediately he goes to top lane. Alright, I'm gonna support you now. Okay. Sir? Sir. Now you expect me to do even better in a one v two situation, not let alone the two v two, as we were trying to work together. See, and meanwhile, the top laner's thinking, what the hell is their support doing up here? Because this is ridiculous. Why is he here? And now their top laner's like, uh, guys, now I can't do anything? Hello? Yeah. Or this oh guy's just kind of standing here and not doing anything. So well, I'll tell you what, Raven, because now you got me. I'm a support main. You'll have somebody to actually yell at and blame whenever I go overly aggressive. This might be a magical relationship everything. right here. See, yeah. but that's why Mangoose, you and I worked so well when we played predecessor together. Because oh, God, I'm an yeah. aggressive jungler, you're an aggressive support. So one of I'm us would go in, and the other one's like, "I'm there, there. We're doing okay. the thing." Like it would just I'm all there the time. To go in. And I'll, I'll I'll make some noise. I'll hit some <laughs> shots. There, but there's a big difference between being an aggressive support and just throwing your abilities on cooldown. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. There you go. That's part of my rant too. There you go. That's another thing I just thought of. Yeah, let me just keep poking them, and it's like, all right, well now my support doesn't have any mana. And now they have to sit back. And now it's like, okay, guy, like, they're over here regenerating, and you're just, you're out. Because you went all in twice. It's, sorry, all right, I'm out of, I got, let me back real quick. Hold on. Just give me like 30 seconds. I'll be right back to land. Okay. And then they come back to me lane and just spam their cooldowns again, and then or have to go back to base. Or they'll get obliterated. They'll walk up. They just came back from lane, right? They're walking past tower. All right, man, I'm back. They'll walk up. He'll get shot, stunned. Ability dashed on. All right, now he's got 10% health. All right, let me back real quick yep. again, dude. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta go right back real quick. I gotta get a control ward. I forgot one, actually. Oh, uh, support control Please. ward, though. Mm, that, that, that's gonna be one of mine coming up. I got these lined up. I got these fucking rants lined up like a goddamn Pez dispenser, just ready. Just ready. I'm gonna just pop and keep popping them out. See, I feel like supports and junglers probably have the most that they could like talk about in terms of this. Uh, ADCs do too, though, for real. Right there. Perfect example. <laughs> yeah, we all, we all the ADC. I could talk about junglers and how they're like, oh, hey, man, uh, you know, we got to oh, rotate or something. As a jungler, junglers are the worst. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> when I play anything but jungle, I hate my existence because I'm like, this jungler is the worst thing on the planet. This is why junglers get a bad rap. This is it. This guy is the reason. Because <laughs> you're not ganking when they're pushed up under my tower for five whole minutes. <laughs> Just get them. And then you got the jugglers that gank. Oh, no, it's warning, dude. Don't go there. Like level one, they jump in to try and gank and they get fucking destroyed by minions. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Or like, I don't mind if you go farm for a bit, man. Farm a bit, then gank. Yeah, farm, absolutely. Gank. Or even don't they counter jungle, the they run into the enemy jungle. They die in the enemy jungle, yeah. and then they start pinging where their team. team. Like, where was my team? Nobody was here helping me. What why do you mean? Why do you bot lane rotate? Can somebody fucking help? Yeah. What? Hey, can, you, can you look at your fucking map? Yeah, we all watched you go into their <laughs> side of the map, and we're like, fuck that noise, and we were looking at our map. It's two minutes the in, mid laner leaves, the duo lane leaves to come all into the jungle. Everybody's watching you just sit in their jungle going, you're dead, dude. What do you want from us? <laughs> And they want you to die with them. That's what they want. Oh my At god! Point, I just think he died to jungle minion, and then it might be even worse. <laughs> god, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Raven, did you have anything else on your topic? 
I don't know that that one that one's pretty good. I'm sure uh, I'm sure more people have stuff in the comments about that one, but yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, that's how we're gonna do these. Uh if you have anything to say in the comments, if you want to send me a, a voice message on Discord or any of us a voice message on Discord or anything, just type it out, leave it in the comments, whatever you want to do, we'll go over them your your responses and, and and your stories and and we'll fill your pain with you in the next episode that we do which will i believe be on jelly knees channel or yep. raven it will be on jelly knees there channel make sure you sub the jelly knees and in fact um and that's what the second half of the show is going to be devoted to and in fact i did get a response already whenever i told people about this as to why a reason why other than them being a serial killer why they would uh wait till the last minute to lock in their draft pick <laughs> This is from uh, Fortster 1994. It says, gotta say I was guilty of doing that more than a few times. Remarked that I was going jungle, but not show who I was picking because of the amount of hate people had more for my girl, Kalari. Would only pick her if I was towards the last pick on both teams, and they didn't have too much tank CC, but all the people, all the hate people had for her. So that's kind of a valid reason. If you're picking a hero that you know that you're good at, but you also know it's going to tilt the dog shit out of your team immediately, I can kind of see wait until the last minute. I still say you should probably just step up, fucking own that shit, and be like, yes, I am going Kalari Jungle, which, as I said to them, I don't understand <clears throat> people's problem with Kalari Jungle whenever I played Paragon. Like, maybe it's because I was on Richter, so we, we had plenty of front line. And plenty of plenty of CC, so we didn't need that from the jungler. So Kalari was perfectly fine to good fucking do Kalari things. But I never had a problem with Kalari jungle. But apparently, a lot of people did. Oh, so I, oh yeah, a lot because, of people had a problem with Kalari jungle. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just because like it was more like team fight oriented that game. If I'm being honest, mm -hmm. that that seemed to be the best team comps, like a team fight one, not like a stealthy you may pick them off one by one. See, so she wasn't really good at that. Going no, into your yeah, comment, I was ready to be like, nope, there's no vindication. You you do not get off scot-free for picking your champion last pick. Right until they said Kalari. And it was like, I don't care. You're a Kalari person too. You're free in my book. 100%. We can be friends. Uh, by the way, everyone's going to hate you from here on out. So at least somebody to share that with me because we're Kalari people apparently. So that's it. Uh, you're you're I mean, perfectly okay fair, in my book. I that kind of kind of like when I would try to play like Twitch Jungle, and like people are like, okay, like it's a thing, we get it. But like if I get ganked or if they guy invades me, you know, like level one or two, and then I die two times. Well, now I am useless, and now I can't do anything. So, <laughs> and then that's when I start playing me my lane. Hey guys, you know he's he was like right by mid lane. Like I, and you, I know you're farming and all, but like you could, I think you could have like came over a little bit, you did something. Oh, sorry, dude. I was I had my laner there. You know, <laughs> three minutes in. <laughs> okay you're right my yeah my fault for dying i guess yeah you're right <laughs> darn that scuttle crab well forkster 1994 you get a pass for me you're welcome to last pick kalari and wait till the last second just to not tilt everybody <laughs> <laughs> but i think that about wraps it up for this very first inaugural episode of what, were, what are we calling it the average rant is that what, we're, what we said we're going to call it your average rant i don't i just threw that one out there if anybody we'll has any ideas, cage. comments rage for what cage. we could call this. <laughs> yeah, if you guys, yeah, the, let's enter the cage play. today. <laughs> enter the dragon. Oh, did you um, mention that uh, we are going to be rotating the episodes on everyone's channels? Yeah, yeah so yeah, okay. make sure you subscribe to Jelly Knees. Make sure you subscribe to Raven. Uh, they'll Both their channels will be linked in the uh, description below. Uh, Jelly, anything to plug? Or, uh, that way. Regular old YouTube stuff, wherever I am on their screens. Um, yeah, regular old YouTube stuff, YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. What about you, Evan? Uh, yeah, the YouTube Raven, Twitter Raven GG, and check out the TikTok as well, Raven GG. Got some sick plays on there. If you like sick plays, <laughs> those are some pretty sick plays. You're fucking Valorant <laughs> shit. Holy it, fuck! Some of the Valorant stuff, yeah, it's it's alright. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Go check it out. Yeah, your um, Century Age of Ashes plays really good as well. Mm -hmm. That it's fun. I like. I'm looking forward to playing more of that. I need to play. Why that more of it. game didn't click with me? I have no idea. Like I watched, I watched you play. Like I watched the replays. I'm like, he's doing the exact same thing that I was doing. However, whenever I would fly out there, it would be a fucking Dragon Ball Bukaki man, <laughs> just right in the face, just dead Dude, dragon. I was watching back the the one where I ran through all the gates uh, on the first try. 
Yeah. And on that last gate, I there was at least 12 to 14 <laughs> fireball indicators coming after me. I couldn't believe it. 12 to 14. And I just snaked my way through and we won that round. Well, I guarantee you I ate six of them because I remember that match. Yeah. And I was actually trying to dodge into fireballs to protect you. Oh, my God. That shit's fun, though, yeah. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, first episode, guys. Let us know what we should name this shit down in the comments below. Sure. For now, this is the Mangoose, Jellities, and Raven signing off. You guys have a good one. <laughs> Mangoose!